they would be out screaming at you at half time, they'd be screaming you at the end of the game. What's the toll of that? David the Messiah Moyes. One of the best known football managers across the globe. Building teams with a clear identity. So where am I looking and who am I talking to? I was desperate to be successful as a manager and I had 11 years at Everton where we were finding it really difficult to break into the top four. The phone rang, it was Sir Alex. And he said, I'm retiring and you're the next manager of Manchester United. No interview, not saying, would you like to be? And I met Edward on the next day, back to his house again, and we met the Glazers. It was three days, and that was as simple as that. To get that offer from the greatest manager maybe there ever was, was a great compliment. But maybe if I'd really looked into it in more detail and more depth, there was a huge change going to have to take place. I trusted Manchester United. Do you feel like that trust was let down? Definitely. But my biggest regret was, we start with the story that has dominated the front pages, the sacking of David Moyes. How did you find out that you're losing your job? Media. Oh, really? If you've got any class or any style, you have to give bad news well. What are those steps forward to get West Ham competing at the very top of the table? I want to build a new West Ham. A lot of supporters might not like the thought of that. When you look at where West Ham is now, do you worry about losing your job? I've got to say, 